Ladies and gentlemen, the lows have been low and the highs have reached new levels on the journey for our 8 teams to get to this point. It's been an intense battle to say the least, and now the day of reckoning is upon us. So far the number point of the final day is held by Jiga.nu with 14 pike, and they are also holding the top 5 point with 487 centimeters. The big fish point was snatched by Team Diva in the final minutes of the last episode as they caught a 9.28 kilo beauty which gives them a total score of 3 points while Jiga.nu have 4. Let's get the final battle started and crown the champions. Fly vs Jerk 13 is brought to you by Alumacraft, fishing boats since 1946. Kingfisher Angelresen. Fishing trips to some of the best destinations in the world. One Boat Network, all together now. And JR Logistic, staffing and recruitment of truck drivers and warehouse workers since 2004. Welcome to Team Daiwa and the final episode. Episode 6. Now, now this is the crescendo of, of everything. Now, Anders. Now we need to step up. Now we need to step now up we and step we have up. the afternoon and. Now we will take it. But we have a new tactics. Yes, shallow. New tactics. We shallow. have a bench we shallow. shallow. We went into another bay and so, let's so, see what we find in here. So follow us. Episode 6 and the grand finale is on. Yeah. We just love it. Yeah. Uh, love fishing, love pike fishing. We have an awesome time here. Now we're going to go for that big one. Yeah, we have to. We have to have a kicker. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's see who will win. Will it be whitefish? Or black pike. We will see. Stay uh, tuned. I'm betting on the black pike, but don't <laughs> tell this guy. <laughs> let's start fishing. <laughs> yeah, let's go, man. Welcome, guys, to the final episode of this season, Fly vs. Jörg. What do you think, Emanuel? Will yeah. we catch the monster here? It could happen. It will yeah. happen. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to be really focused. So when you're doing these long days without a bite, it's really easy to lose concentration, but I'm trying to just look at the line, look for every small bite there could be, and be ready to set the hooks. Because here, you never know what you could hook into. There's some real monsters here. So, we're ready, we're pumped, and we're gonna do this. We're back at our favorite spot here. Uh, we just launched the boat. So we're gonna fish upstreams actually, so we're gonna fish this little pool here, make a few casts. Fish the pool where we ended uh, the first day, and then we're gonna go up to our favorite pool here, and uh, just really fish it. So we, we have plenty of time to fish this pool, and we might go even to upper pool. Yeah, yeah, if we can get the boat there, so. So let's see what happens. First cast. Oh, look at that, it looks so sick here. Hello guys, welcome to the last episode of Flyvius 13. Uh, the wind has dropped and it has turned, so it's kind of flat water now. Uh, perfect condition to fish far out and, and uh, we have moved to some really good structure uh, far out and see if we can uh, find some fish here. Uh, what do you say, Picard? What do you think? I think we have a few hours left. Uh, still plenty of time to catch a really nice one. Condition is perfect to fish deep, it's quite, quite clear. Uh, clear sky and everything, the wind is dropping, so yeah, we'll see what happens, but it's going to be interesting to uh, to see what you can do in a few hours. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I think we can, uh, we can find some fish. I hope, we, we have yeah, to do that. Of course, okay. Very interesting, Pierre and Truman spent the morning in the shallows and are now going out to the deeper areas, while Christian and Anders, who are fishing the same lake, are doing the exact opposite. Team Diva have a theory that after a cold night, the pike in the deeper areas can easily swim a short distance and hide in really deep water while in the shallows they are kind of forced to adapt and can't really move away from their regular spots, which should make them easier to target. That's an interesting theory, let's see how it plays out. Oh, the first cast! Okay, we are, we are in a shallow bay and uh, our guess is that the, the fish is really shallow after the cold nights we found found some nice fish yesterday evening really on just one meter water so we will try that now in the middle of the day after after lunch 
and uh, this is not super muddy water but a bit muddier of course and a lot of vegetation and here the, the big pike is feeding bream i think ah green leafy grass okay that's the there's one. another thing there's a pike about. attractor on this pike attractor yeah they like grass like that or or the bait fish that the pike likes, likes grass like that. And then the pike will be there and we will be there. Okay, welcome to the last episode of Flyvers Jerk 13. Uh, we're gonna scout some, some areas that we didn't fish before. So we're gonna find a big, big motherfucker from this lake. <laughs> Pasi and Lasse also changed lake over lunch and are now looking for their fifth approved pike. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Good. Net, net, net. Yeah. Oh, f it's not that big, but it's it's okay. It's uh, over 75. Yeah, I think. Okay, cool. First fish uh, of the new second lake, lake new yeah. lake. First cast. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I think it would be like 75 something, don't you think? Yeah, that's 75. 76. Okay, nice fish. Put her back real quick and keep on fishing. Yeah. Bye bye. Now oh, we fill the paper. Yeah. <laughs> For the first time in this competition, it's been so hard to fill the paper. So we're gonna increase. We, that was just the first cast over here. So the fish are biting now. We're gonna do well. We have a half a day left. Let's do it. Rock and roll. Yeah, come on. Uh, I changed to. Uh, this lake is a little bit clear water, so I put this Bull Tees 24 centimeters headlight and it's starting to first cast. So I think this will do really good here. You know? Touch. First cast of episode six, first bite and missed again. <laughs> What's happened to me, sir? Look, ah! It looks like episode six will, will, uh, will be similar. Ah! That uh, fish you I have will missed get it. already. Not possible. Ah! For Sylvain, cast over there. <laughs> There's one. The technique. To that's be honest, a team. That's yeah, teamwork. It's my guide. Uh, I am the guide. You know, it's my job. I found the fish and he catch. <laughs> and see if I uh, <laughs> catch them. You know. Okay. Tell me where. Over there. Okay. I go. And I will do the teaser with the slider <laughs> also, just somewhere, in case. <laughs> somewhere here. <laughs> somewhere here. Yeah. Uh, we have no idea if we have points or not, and. Uh, I think we are not in a bad, bad position, but maybe not uh, to the win either. I think we are, we are really uh, aiming at uh, 490 or something like that. No, I think uh, we go for you 500 go. and that's it. We need bigger if, ones. If we didn't miss anything. Yeah, but if my, uh, <laughs> if my mother had bowls, I would call her father. Daddy, yeah. Daddy, yeah, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> right, 14 fish. 487 centimeters. I'm thinking the number wise, we're good. I think so. Uh, and the top five is not gonna be enough. So uh, we will have to improve. We have to go over five meters to have a chance. That's what I think. Then let's do it. Yeah, just hook a 125, 15 kilo fish. <laughs> <laughs> the boat is getting more and more covered in snow, but doesn't matter. The pike, they seem to like it. Yeah! Oh shit, man. Big fish. Oh, f man. Come on. Upgrade? You think? No, I think so, yeah. It was such a take, man. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Now. We have insane fishing, guys. And the Kuma Swim just keeps on delivering nice fish. This was so strong in the current, I thought it was really, really big. But it's still a beautiful fish. No upgrade. But it's still a healthy, beautiful fish. 78 to 80, uh, around there. So, thank you for visiting. And see you when you grow bigger. Nice. Let's keep them coming, man. Down in the Netherlands, the champions from last year are fighting an uphill battle against the huge waves. Alex and Marcus could have chosen to fish a river or a smaller lake to escape the wind, but they're in the Netherlands for one reason, one reason only to catch a monster pike and to do so they have no choice but to stay on this lake uh, we are on a new uh, spot now uh, the wind has, has turned so we are sheltered here and we had kind of good uh, free fishing uh, here it was a lot of bream and stuff but uh, we are going down now to see if uh, 
we can find some bream uh, again. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot of bait fish, but if we want a big pike, we need we need to find the bream. Another team chasing the bream eaters are Team Diva. They already have one really long fish on the top five board, but need four more to potentially steal the point. So Christian decides to change lure to a lazy distance, which kind of imitates a small bream. Pick this lazy distance in the same color that have been very successful yesterday and today in the, in the ordinary lazy jerk. Have a very nice, quite rapid movement. So let's try that. Goes also very shallow and makes a lot of noise. Could be a benefit. Let's see. Oh, I, oh, now I know it why they call it the distance. Guld är ju alltid guld i solsken, Anders. On the new lazy distance. I told you, Anders. Brilliant, Christian. Brilliant. It's, it's closing in. Are you ready? Here it comes. Here it comes. Brilliant! That's really, a big one. Really, really. That's a, yeah, that's, that's a long the... fish. Oh, it's... It's about 90. Okay, I need to cut these. Yes, just cut them. There's no way I spend the time to... No, 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 this. just cut them. The cutters are used frequently. Now we have two fish. We need three more to be able to fill our paper with... That could be arranged. That was the bait. Give it to me. Ah, ah, ah. <coughs> okay. Board is wet. You take the... Oh, 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 hold, 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 hold. Oh, oh, I hold, 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 hold it, hold it. It's a long fish. It's close to 90, it's 89, 89, 89. yeah, okay, cool. Okay. This is exactly what Anders and Christian are looking for, some proper pike to fill up the board. They have five hours left to fish and yesterday they caught the fifth one with only two minutes yep. left of the day, yep. which gave them the point. Thank you, Anders. You can feel, you can feel in the pike, when, when you hold it, you can feel it when it suddenly starts to shape up in the, in the muscles and then, the, then you know that, okay, he's good. Let's, or she. That's a good fish. 89. On the move. Let's take another one. If there is one, there is more. <laughs> <laughs> we, when you are eager to fish after you, uh, you, have, you have been catching a nice fish. Don't, don't forget to, to change the Please the hooks. don't forget to change the, the, the hooks. that The ones you cut. Already are cut after the first one. Then. Yeah, you need to change them. I will do that, Anders. It was close. Over in Finland, Team XL Marine Mercury are chasing upgrades, and of course, a really big one. Yeah, fish on! It's a decent fish. As an upgrade, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's an upgrade. Not a giant one, but bigger than this. It's an upgrade, for sure. Yeah. Okay, let's check her. It's uh, 84. Mm, cool. It's eight centimeters up. Yeah. Put her back. Ooh. <laughs> Good. Oh shit, man. Again, the super long pub. Thick. That was an upgrade. Was it? Mm. That was a stone fish. Really stone, really. Ah, oh, so mitten of that sat, or? No, but then. Ah, so here. You see, I didn't draw it at the end. Tag. Skulle ha varit att där någonstans. Den kommer ju bara underifrån. Gulfa. Och när jag hugger, då flyger allting ut. Let's just smash in this one. In the long pauses, boom! And that's going to have... And now we have an F report. I'm going to have the fish. I'm going to take it. Well... Yeah. Good one? I don't know. Uh, it's well, the one, it's a good one. So We have five fish. This uh, hour. Coming I have it. I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good one. Ah, that's a good one. That's the one, man. I really have to correct. We have six fish this um, this hour. Uh, Hank the tank here. He's smoking hot. It delivers everything right now. We're just about to do the one o'clock report. Uh, I'm lifting up the black pike from the water, and uh, a big pike comes and just eats it and spits it out when I when I do the counter strike. So I made a quick cast, and it took took only a few seconds. Bam! That's another nice one, man. <laughs> yeah, one Upgrade? Be, yeah, this one could be a meter. This could be one? Yeah. Then it's uh, meter pike number three, yeah, we just hope. Uh, six pike this hour. Uh, this is uh, pike number 20. 
It's a really beautiful one. Oh, it's big, man. Uh, beautiful, beautiful fish. <sighs> An upgrade. Oh, this is upgrade for sure, man. Uh, yeah, this is a nice fish. This is a big it's a really nice fish. Jacob, you're smoking hot. Yeah, feels good. We only have one of these, you know, and uh, Jacob has caught like five or six pikes in a row with this one. And I've caught nothing. Let's measure and see how big she is. Yeah, this is 101. This is epic, man. 30 meter pike of the day, all on black pike Kuma swim. <laughs> this is insane. It's a we only have one. We only have one. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah. Meter pike number three for Jigaratnu, and they're all caught by Jacob on the same Kuma swim. Bjorn is also catching some fish, but Jacob is playing in a completely different league right now. Team Fox Ridge Salmo are on the move. They had some great action before lunch, but they're one step behind Jigar on the numbers and top five, so they need some new hunting grounds. So we start uh, episode six after just one or two drifts uh, there. We start on a new spot. It's a bay, a shallow one uh, between uh, two and uh, four meters. A lot of weed, two small river going through. I love this spot, it's full of fish. Okay. So full of fish, even for this season. Uh, let's see if we if we can get so a we, bit of action. So a few drift, and if it doesn't bite, we need to come One back. One drift to the... on every place. Okay, okay, okay. On every Super. spot area. And that's it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I stick to this one. I would like to try uh, a few other things, but uh, JP doesn't want me to do it. Because <laughs> he wants me to stick with uh, what is, is working. Stick to the plan. Always keep the lure who produce fish. That's all. Yes, daddy. Oh, by the way. Oi. Huh? Maybe, maybe an improvement. Uh. Yes. Yes, it's a different one. Boom! <laughs> You're on fire, my friend! Yeah! Ah. Cool. That won't be a big improvement, but I think it is. 87 we have to remove. I think yeah. it's... Close to. Close to, close to. I don't know, maybe uh, it's the same size. The panel. We made a small uh, improvement, two centimeters, so we are quite happy with that. Step by step. Slowly but surely. Another well needed upgrade for Fox Rage Salmo. 1000 kilometers further east, the bad weather just got worse for Alex and Marcus. Rise the rain. It's not going our way at the moment. <laughs> now the wall is coming. The end of the world, what did you say? <laughs> It looks really <laughs> terrible. The Great Wall is coming. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Go pike fishing, they said. Especially in Holland, where you might be rewarded with one bite per day. It doesn't happen very often, but now even Alex looks a bit beaten down by the conditions and the fact that they still haven't caught the fish they're here for. Over in Finland, Team Vision have a plan. So this is the pool where we almost lost the boat yeah, last year. We're gonna move up again now. Marcus brought his John boat, so it's quite much more simple to get it up. So, oh, a little bit deep here, Marcus. Mm. So we're back in the hot pool. Let's see if it works. That was easy. Yeah, that was. We still have to go around the big stone. I think we can do that with the engine. I think so too. Way too easy, Marcus. Sorry? Way too easy. Yeah. Let's start fishing from here. Yeah, let's catch a big one now. Okay, let's do it. We fish this side of the pool first, or? Because we have plenty of time, Marcus. Yeah, we have. Yeah. And I think. If we just drive around too much with the boat, we're going to spook them. So I think we should fish it extremely careful and very thoroughly and sharpen the hooks every time you get in with stone. I think we should spend quite a lot of time right where this rapid is coming down because usually there's a lot of fish standing right in those. Yeah. Right below those. For example, where Headbanger is most likely fishing today, you know, it's that river coming down and that's just 
so many fish standing just underneath there. Okay, so now it's time for a change of lure. Now it's time for the big, big lures for big pike. The Colossus Curly. Both me and Emanuel have caught several big fish on this lure, so... That exact bait actually. Several 10 kilos plus fish on that bait. It's 31 centimeters long and weighs uh, approximately 170 grams. So it's a big bait. It goes like like a S curve, but also with the, the headbanger shakes and like this uh, erratic movement. It is also a very good trolling bait. So it moves down to about like three meters or something like that. And uh, you have really nice BKK hooks. I'm uh, still fishing with the Fire Tape Black Silver, the bigger version. I have actually not changed to bait a uh, single time during this competition because it's been so tough that I want to stick to something that I have confidence in. I'm trying to see if we can get some reaction bite or at least something because now we are really struggling. We haven't had a single bite since that fish we caught in the last episode. With this cold front coming in, we were expecting the fishing to be tough but not as hard as it has been these days. Uh, but there's still some time. Uh, we're on a spot with big fish and for us it's time to make it happen. Let's do this. Hope for the best. If there was a point for the hardest fighting team, I'd give it to Headbanger Lures for sticking it out despite the terrible conditions and inactive pike. Jigarat Nu are having similar conditions with one major difference. The pike are anything but inactive. Yeah. Ja, jag hade den, jag hade den så att vi låter den vara bra. Okej. Okay. Men okej okay, ju. Det är den här gott till er. <laughs> det kan vara mycket fisk. This is crazy, this is insane. <laughs> this is insane. Look at that fish. We just, <laughs> we just released 101. And the next cast, I hit this one. Well, thanks for letting me hold your fish at least. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll go fish. He's so... You take care of that. Avi, come on. Give me another bait. I don't have it. Oh, come on. Well, uh, I don't think she's an upgrade, but let's measure her anyway. Uh, we need more than 95. Do you see. think she might be? She might be longer. 96. 96. One centimeter One upgrade. <laughs> what should I do? Boom. Oh, stand and watch and hold the net all day. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we only it's a have teamwork. one. It's a teamwork, brother. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm having fun, I yeah. can tell you that. <laughs> wow. Let's get you a big one. All right. Let's get you a big one. This sounds douchey when you say it like that. But a, a giant one. That's crazy. Okay, see you. Did you click the meter fish? Boom. No, no, did not click them. So, 21 then. 21. Yeah. Yes! Top 5 is now 497? I don't know. Um, 96? 97. 96, 97. Top 5, 497. We're getting close to 5 meters now. Uh, one more meter pike and we have it. Come on. Uh, 497, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Are you kidding me? No. Okay, I'll just leave my rod here. Big one, small one, net, I don't know. no net. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I was about to do such a douchey thing right back at you. Uh, touch it. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, pike number 22. This is crazy. I, I think I've had like six pikes in 10 casts. Yeah. I can tell you how many pikes I have had in 10 casts. <laughs> Just about zero. <laughs> <sighs> I have to do something about that. Number 22, smallest of the day, but still a plus one. And no. still a good strike. Yeah. Or well, maybe you should try another color of the Kuma Swim, man. I might as well do because I'm scoring nothing here. 
I don't want to contribute as well. You know, I, we, we say we want to have two different lures, but now it's just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'll, um, I'll, I'll take one as well. Try the Hulk, man. Yeah, I'm going for the Hulk. Yeah. Well, might as well try as well. I think most pike anglers would agree that some days it doesn't really matter what you're throwing, while other days you'll get completely crushed by your body if you don't have the exact same lure or color. Hopefully, this one is close enough. Yeah. No! Ooh, that was an upgrade. <laughs> that was an Doesn't upgrade. That like, like a big fish, man. That was a big fish. I just doof, doof, and I saw it. it. Took it on the surface. Come on, that was a big fish. That was a big fish. Well, it didn't take long on the Kuma swim, did it? No, no. <laughs> I just did work and, and a twitch and it stopped and it came. I saw the entire fish. <laughs> that was a big fish. Felt the hooks? No, 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 no. No? No. We'll take again. This is crazy, 20. crazy pike fishing. Pike fishing at its best. We need to uh, step up now because we had three more before we have five. Three more fish in four hours. I mean, that should be possible. Should be very should easy be... normally, but it's, it's a tricky fishing. It's been really slow. The es big ones are there, but the small ones, especially, they are very especially much Especially also when, when the sun came up now. Then, so the then tricky, it's... yeah, it's a little bit funny. The tricky part hasn't been catching the big ones. It's catching the small ones. Yeah, yeah. Or catching the, some kind of numbers. I mean, we need to fill the paper. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not very easy to fill the paper, it seems so. But imagine yesterday when we, I mean, we had three over 12. But we didn't have the paper. I mean, that's, no, that's no, no. crazy. We that's didn't crazy. have five over that's 75, but we had three over 12. Yeah, How can crazy. that even happen? But okay, never mind. We managed to fill the paper yesterday. I'm not. We can manage to fill the paper. Yeah, today, yeah, so. and I, I, I will not be disappointed if we get three more over 120 and fill the paper with yeah. that. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's okay with me as well. Christian, let's give this like like an hour more or something. Yeah, uh, we, we know that there are fish here. We, we, we got one, but... Uh, the sun is a little bit too bright right now. Let's so. see what happens so during the afternoon here when the, the sun starts to drop. I think the the, the, the bay further out could be an It was a little bit of a miscalculation to get in here. Yeah. And, and, and once we got here, then suddenly the, the, the sun came out. Yeah. That was a little bit of a miscalculation. Even though that potentially is okay, I think we have a greater chance if we go out. So we yep. give this one hour more, and then we go go out on deeper, deeper yes. areas. Yes. Well, I'm afraid the fishing doesn't seem to be too good out in the deeper areas either. CWC fishing team are on the same lake, but haven't had a bite since they moved out from the shallows after lunch. It's a high risk game where you might end up with nothing, but if you hit the right fish, you can be greatly rewarded. It's past 2 o'clock, which means that the teams have a bit less than 4 hours left to fish, so this is far from over. Down in Ireland, JP just changed to another color of the Salmo slider, and it doesn't take long until he's hooked up to a nice one. Nice one. JP is waking up. Nice one. Or Salmo one. slider, always. This is a good one. It's a meter. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good fish. Cool fish, cool fish. Je suis prêt, hein? Il est frais. C'est prêt. Ouais, je suis prêt. Ooh. Not a meter, but it's decent size. Yes, decent. Ooh. Of course, cool. Good job. That will be close. Bim! 96, 96. 96! <laughs> Woo. Woo! Good job. Allez, back in business. Ah, nice! Close to the meter. Not yet. Next one. 96. Ah. Two pike in two cast. Perfect. That's not a bad top 5, despite the fact that they're 21 centimeters behind Jäger.nu, but now they're up to speed. Ooh, that's huge, huge fish. Big, 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 big one. Really big one. Come with me, my love. Come with me, my love. Just a minute. Slowly, 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 uh, slowly, slowly. Uh, okay. Boom. Cha. Three fish. Two. One, three cast? Not bad. No, that's cool. Maybe an improvement. I don't, don't know. know. We'll see. Oh, 84. Another Irish beast. Not an improvement because uh, our top five is uh, already quite uh, quite good. 
we need definitely pie cover meter. Look at the size of the tail. And it's just an 84. Crazy. Up. See you. Our top five is definitely not enough to win. I think we can decently hope for another 95 to 100 uh, fish. Then it will be quite okay. But at that point, with the, the smallest one being 89, I think it's a bit too short. I think we will catch another good one, I'm pretty sure. We still have four hours. So we have four hours and we have a few spots that we, uh, that we let rest. So I'm pretty sure we can catch another good one. Sylvain and JP are on fire at the moment. Meanwhile, the wall of rain has passed for Team Leech Gator and the sun has come out once again. Alex and Marcus are both using the Mura's catfish combo, which is a great choice in heavy wind. Both because you have great contact with the lure at all times, but also because it's pushing a lot of water, which makes it easier for the pike to find it. Wait. Okay. How are you? Coming too easy. Maybe. It's a little bit bigger. Oh, there's a fish. Ah, oh, fuck, we did one pike and it's not the size we want. But I also told her it was the only place we found bream. We need to take a weight on it. You never know. Yeah. Or Alex? No, we don't take the weight. Huh? First pike of the day for Team Leech Gator and it's a really nice fish, but not the one they're here for. They quickly measure it to 103 centimeters, but despite Marcus' attempts to convince Alex that they should weigh it, they didn't. It's most likely not bigger than the 9.28 kilo pike caught by Team Diva, so it doesn't really matter, and we'll give it an estimated weight of 7.5 kilo for the scoreboard. Nice fish, and if there's one, there's usually more. After all these pikes, now it's ended. I have one, two, I don't know how many over 10 kilo I have on uh, this one, but it's, I think it's like six or seven on this. Now we take a new one. I need to cut it. Take this. Now it's new. Let's go, Christian. This, this, is, this mm. is not the place right now. I agree. It's too this, shiny, it's too sunny. The sunshine came and it, it, it destroyed our possibilities here in the shallows. Let's go out. That was not in the plan. No, that was not planned. Let's, but let's go out. Let's see what happens on the outside. Weather is weather. Okay. Yep. Let's go. Three and a half hours to go. I feel a little bit stressed, actually, to be honest. You do? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, we have no contact since, since long time, but... but uh, yeah. I, I feel quite confident that when the sun starts to go down a bit, like after three o'clock, then we will have our chance. Yeah, I was a little bit sad yesterday when I lost one of the nice ones. I, I now feel a little bit sad that I lost that one this morning, because maybe that is uh, an important one. But we'll see, we'll see. Every we pike counts? We have, no. <laughs> let's make sure that they don't. So, let's spend some time here. This is a place where we have seen some action earlier today and we've seen some action yesterday and let's see where that takes us yep and we, we know take it that from there. this place holds a very nice fish shot it's just we, we know that for a fact we it's know just it. a matter of of being there in the right moment with the right gear what kind of power in the, in the right boat with the right guys who are in the right mode and, and do everything right which means basically us then <laughs> yeah, I, <s> <laughs> I was now wondering, who the heck is he talking about? <laughs> who the heck is that? <laughs> who, who are you and who am I? <clears throat> to just park on the best spots and just be patient and... I, I don't think so, because we have a change. We had a change in wind direction. That means that the fish probably are moving slightly. Yeah. We haven't had any other big changes. The no. sun doesn't really move the fish, I think. Rather that they maybe take a pause in the hunting. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion is we have three something hours to go, right? Three and a half. Three and a half, okay. Plenty of time. 
So let's, let's go a little bit into this bay, just for the sake of it. And then we take a slow circle around the best areas outside here. Mm -hmm. And then when, when we have maybe an hour or two hours or whatever left, let's find a more shallow place muddy water and see what yeah. happens. Try like we have we have a few of, we have a few different options for base. So let's just let's just figure out which one that could handle the, the change in wind direction from mm. from south this morning to west that we have right now. Yeah so it's right. It's a nine, direct, 90 degree the direct turn -off. west wind now. I mean, I, I guess you're thinking of the same bay as I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's so let's see if we can, let's take a decision, but let's not be too hasty. Nope, nope. Let's, 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 let's do this first. Let's give this a try. Of, I think after, after three o'clock, which means half an hour or something, then, then it should be some activity. I do believe in the an angle of the sun. Is it too straight from the top, then, then the fish are tricky. When it comes from the side, it's a different story. If there was a point for the most analytical team, it would clearly go to Anders and Christian. Over in Finland, Team Excel Marine Mercury just found a decent looking pike on the electronics, which they're now trying to catch. Real. Seen it. Faster. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, it ain't that big, but it's upgrade. Yeah. To take the lure as a sausage. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good. Good job. We're up upgrading. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now it's off. Let's measure her. Yeah. It's uh, 87. 87 fish. We keep doing really good now. They're yeah. eating yeah. like hell. That's a, like nine centimeters upgrade. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Bye bye. It's three o'clock. Time is uh, slowly running out, but I actually haven't lost hope completely because uh, today it's comfortable to fish. I, I, I'm not so cold and uh, I know that there's big fish around. So I'm just going to keep on casting and hope for the best. And I, I really want a big one now. It would be such a nice feeling after these tough days. Uh, so I'm, I'm hoping for the best. What more can you do? It's just strange. One of the oldest cats, something. If the condition is right, you have 10 fish in this area. Yeah, you need to be there for a reason. Of you course. Condition is wrong, you know. Vince! <laughs> Good one? It's a small one. Small? Yep. Oh! I was thinking, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, I had a slack. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be here. <sighs> we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting. And you know, I just slowly, slowly up and a slack. And I was thinking, boom! And it's this little fellow. Oh, <laughs> look at this. She really went for that one, for the giant. Bye bye. Grew up. Boom. Oh, we really need some big fish. But you know, a strike is a strike. And now I'm super warm and pumped up again. Ooh. Amen to that, nothing beats a proper strike after hours of casting, no matter the size of the fish. Oi, oi. Ari. Sa, sego. Bulgara, bulgara. Let, let. Tu me remontes un poil, je pense. Allez, viens ici, il est prêt. J'aurais bien vu de l'autre côté. Non, 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 non. Boom! I missed this one, you catch him. That's a good team. That nice! Is that the same you think? Look, there is a, you know, a pin. Really nice fish. Look at that, that's a, a nugget. <laughs> Not that long, but 
<laughs> in the gate. Like the angler. <laughs> like the team. Look, he has only a part of the tail. 93, 94. Oh, 93, 93. 93. Oi, oi, oi. Fox Raid Salmo are on fire. Slowly but surely, they're working their way closer to Jigadatnu on the top five board. And even though they only have one point at the moment, they're actually only one big pike away from winning the whole tournament. If they catch a pike bigger than 9.28 kilos and it's longer than 110 centimeters, they would get both the big fish and top 5 points of the final day, which would put them on top of the scoreboard. Team Vision is the only team who still haven't caught a single approved pike today, but they're in a big fish river where they caught two 10 kilo plus pike in the final episode last year, and they know it's just a matter of presenting the fly in front of the right fish at the exact right time and not miss the hook set. Oof, that's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Super it's nice. over a meter. Yeah. It's going under the boat. Go on, go on the other side yep. if you can. Let me know if you need to drive. No, I think we're good. It's well hooked. Super nice fish. Yeah. Okay. It's right under the boat. So yeah. Let's see if I can have it. Just be careful. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I think it's better like this way. Yeah. Ah, it's a nice one. It's not like super, super big, but... Nine kilos? Eight, nine kilos? Eight, nine kilos, maybe. Oh, oh, get it. You have it. oh, it's bigger. Yeah. It's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> oh. Exactly where we had it. Yeah, 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 exactly. And actually, it was really active because I didn't feel anything. I just saw a swirl in the, in okay. the surface. Oh, that's promising. Okay. Uh, it's. Ooh. Oops. I can hold the open the mouth. Uh, this one, even I couldn't have lost. Ooh. Okay, this fish was really active. It took the fly right when it landed. Really nice fish, actually. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it was the same fish. That I lost, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly in the same spot. Uh, yeah, where I lost it uh, yeah. two days ago, yeah. And that's promising because then we might have some other fish. Yeah, and these are the fish, the reason why we came here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. So let's have yeah. it's. It's uh, 107, 109. Yeah, 107. 107. Yeah. There we go. Get in there. there go. Let's not miss, lose the boat here. Yeah. <laughs> 9 point... 60. 9.60, yeah. Minus the bag, which is 1 point... 1 point 1, yeah. So 8.5. 8.5. Eight and and Good job. 8.5 kilo lady on the board for Team Vision, which is the second heaviest pike of the day. It won't give them any points unless they catch four more, but still a great fish. It's four o'clock and for every passing minute, the chances of anyone removing Giga.new from the throne is getting smaller and smaller, but as we've seen in the previous seasons, it's never over until the final casts have left the water. When fishing in cold waters and especially on a bright sunny day after a cold night, the afternoons can be pure magic with an increased water temperature and ideal weather conditions, so you should never call it a day just because the morning and day has been slow. Two hours left, Christian. And now, Anders, the window of opportunity will open very soon because when the light drops, the big pike starts feeding. Yep. And uh, partially during the af afternoon, the, the bright light, strong sunshine destroyed the fishing, but now is the opportunity. Yeah, the strong light wasn't really our friend mm -hmm. earlier today, but, but the two last hours of the day, then, then it isn't that bad actually to have sunshine. Well, time flies when you're having fun, guys, and we are having fun. We really are. Yeah. Uh, 30 fish caught. Yeah. And 497. I really want to catch that one pike to get over five meters. Yeah, the big, one big kicker. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be awesome. It would be awesome, but uh, there is still time. Not yeah. a lot of it though. There's Go. always hope. <laughs> we need that last one. Never give up.
Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, crazy! Oh wow, man! That's a good fish. That's oh, a good wow. fish. Oh, what is happening? What is happening with this day? That is a good fish. Oh. We definitely have her over five meter now. Yeah, you, you think it's an it's an upgrade? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. This is pike fishing. Oh, this is pike fishing. Oh, holy crap! I'm lost for words. Wait, wait. Holy shiza! You know it's a big pike when it barely fits the BFT monster net. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we might have a new big fish point of the day. This is a really long specimen and it will be very interesting to check the length and weight. What an amazing pike right there. Huge congrats Jacob and Bjorn. <laughs> this is such a reward for, for all the hard work that we put in. Free fishing training. Oh wow, this is awesome. Let's unhook her. Look at those fangs. Yeah, I felt those. They can do some damage. One seventeen. Yeah. One seventeen. <laughs> One hundred seventeen. Beautiful centimeter bike. Wow. Only on fly versus you. Yeah. This is my second 117. Yeah. This but, one. You sure it's not 118? <laughs> What a beautiful pike. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love this, man. Oh, I have to put her down. Oh, there are two, yeah. Not enough. The most of all, they can't have anything on it. I'm lost for words, guys. You know, it's we've, we've had such an amazing day. We have so much fun, and that's what we set out to do. Uh, let's have fun. Let's catch some pikes, let's get, a, let's get a decent top five, and let's get one big fish. Look at the net. You know, this, I'm loving this. Okay, then a fair rod now. Yeah. 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 Uh. No. No way, man. No. Looks like it might not be 10 kilos after all, but 9.28 kilos or bigger, and they'll get the big fish point. Let's say 9. <laughs> it's, yeah. 9. 9.1. Great fish! Yeah. Fab. I've Fab for it. I've over in Tia, so I've got it. It's good. But now it's not. Pissed. What are you doing with me and Tia? Oh wow, sometimes the ups can be very close to the downs and even though this beauty didn't make the 10 kilo mark and was frustratingly close to bringing them the big fish point, it's still an incredible pike and you guys are absolutely killing it today. <laughs> I, have, I have a sort of mixed emotion, I was really hoping to, to go past the magic 10.0 mark, but it's, uh, it's an awesome fish man. I'm 117. Shaking. Centimeter yeah. pike is an awesome pike. She did leave some yeah. marks on me. Yeah, uh, she did. That's part of the game. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What do we have in terms of top five? 518 right now. 518. We still have that 97 to switch out. Just, uh, Go past 520. Of course. That would be. That would be. We're not finished same. yet. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> no there is time. There is time. Uh, there is time. Wow, it's, the, the fish is not going to be the heaviest so, of the last day. It's of not, that I'm pretty sure. But, it's not the uh, heaviest because we're not done yet. Oh, you, you mean it like that, yeah. Let's go I hear fishing. You. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it wasn't 10, but still 117, man. Awesome I mean, some pie. This guy is getting shredded uh, yeah. and so are my hands. Uh, but it's part of the game. Yeah, and we're not done just yet. No, there is time. There is time. There is still time. Let's catch it. Let's go. It's so much Let's fun. Go. Yeah, <laughs> I fucking love this. Uh, Kuma Swim is uh, a new lore from uh, Bite Oblique that I helped uh, Pellet to design. So hence the name Kuma, that means bear in uh, Japanese. So my name is Bjorn and that's bear in Swedish. So. Um, uh, I got the name on the lore, 
but it's his lore. But I helped him design it. Hi, it's a nice fish. That's good, Christian. I see decent one, not a huge, but maybe a 75. Maybe a 75. Right now we take whatever we can get to fill the Maybe paper. a 75. On the lazy distance. Be careful. I will hold her down as much as I can. That's not a, not a huge pike, but filling the paper will be very important. You never know. You never know. You never know. Yeah. That's a nice one. Nice, sir. Definitely. It's not a small it's pike. Definitely on the paper. Oh, it's a, it's a yeah. meter. Oh, could be a meter fish. Could be. Or, or, or very close. Thanks, mate. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. So, did you know, by the way, that death once had a near Christian Keskitalo experience? <laughs> Let's see. Let's that's see. how. That's how hot he hold is. It, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I hold it. I hold it. Okay. It's not a. It's. It's also also 89. 89. 89. Yeah. It's 89. 89. 89. 89. Okay. Okay. Release. Release it. We we still have two fish left before we have full paper. How much do, is needed for taking the top five? We need two meter fish. Two meter fish. Two okay. Meter fish. Then well, we, then we have a chance. Let's do that. Bye bye. Two more. <clears throat> two more, Christian. I take a 120, and you take an 80 in the middle. I take 80. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. Would you do that for me, Christian? I will do my best on this, believe me. But if I take a 120, would you take an 80? If you take would a 120, you take a bullet? I, I also want to take a 120. Okay. Oh, fish! Nice one, nice. Oh, oui, heavy, 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 heavy. I don't know, because hard bite, really hard one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Yes. Keep focus. Don't worry. No. Oh! Probably one. Oh, it's a meter plus. Fat belly, huh? Hein? Yeah, but. Good, good size. Good, good size. Good size. Good size. I think so. No, it's not mature. It's uh, 95. 95. Cool. So that's an improvement. Two more centimeters on our top five. <laughs> it's going slowly, but uh, it's going. So we are now 482, which right. is not bad. And uh, we'll try to grab a few centimeters. A good one, a big one, of course, would be would be really welcome. That's what we need. Nice one. Nice one. Tack. Okej, okay, ska vi prova? Har, har du fått något bra där nere? Jag tycker att det är som en jävla tvättmaskin och bara snurrar runt vattnet. Det är inte något bra om jag har fått fisk där. Ja. Fisk! 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 Ja. Nice. This is a nice one. Yeah, it's small. It's small. But still, it's a fish. Okay, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, finally! It's good for the confidence. That that bite was so carefully. Nice, Marcus. So at least a fish. It's not big, but it's something at least. Yeah. So it's uh, 80 centimeters. Yeah. Bye bye. So let's get the grandmother of that thing, and uh, yeah, you have to share for us this last hour now. We, we need all the support we can get. It's one... Oh! I was gonna say, it's one hour left and I'm hooked up. And then I had the strike. But oh, now it's on! Nice, man! <laughs> what are the odds? It's a small fish, but what are the odds? Last hour. I hope this is not the last fish. But, oof, it's nice with the strike, finally, after all these hours. On the bigger size fire tail. Ooh, and now I can finally put some pike slime in my beard and maybe my luck is about to change. Ooh. Yeah. That's not a big fish. It looks it's so small, much but that is it's an upgrade. Finally one fish. But it's it's not over 77. Yeah, it can be. 78. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. One centimeter <coughs> up. Yeah. If we one, do that, one centimeter upgrade. If we do that in every like 30 seconds, then we have a good result. We got one more hour to fish now, Passi. Yeah. Let's get that big mama that we came here for. 
Today we uh, haven't skilled enough to, to find the fish. We are really tough. Of course we have the spirit and we fight for it, but you know, we're missing the really big bites. Pierre, we have only one hour left. We have another place that we found lots of bait fish last time. So we're going to finish on that area and we finish this corner and we'll see. Still, still possible. Last hour of the competition. We need a bit of luck for the 110 uh, plus. Uh, we still have uh, one or two spots to check before it's, uh, it's time to end. So let's, uh, let's go. I'm low on energy now. <laughs> oh, oh, you're low in energy? I'm low in energy, but that's, I will do the final hour. I will do the final hour. I mean, uh, it's, it, that's I, we don't know, but potentially we stand and fall with the result from this hour. So that's what, that's what I always say about your youngsters. Yeah. yeah, I'm very My young. My generation was a totally different I'm game. I'm very young. <laughs> okay. The result stands and falls now, Christian, with what we do. Potentially. We don't know that, but potentially it does. So, freaking A, I'm going to cast and cast and cast until 6 o'clock. What you do today, Anders? Echoes in Echoes the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go and get him. The tournament is slowly coming to an end and the teams are using every remaining brain cell to crack the winning code. Jigar.nu are still in the lead and now Bjorn is hooked up to a nice fish, but their smallest one on the board is 97 centimeters, so this won't be an upset. 94. Well, not an upgrade, 94 centimeters, but uh, still a nice pike. Let's uh, let her go back. So now we're taking the boat back where we launch it and then we're gonna fish the upper pool where we hope that we're gonna get one fish over 10 kilo. Let's do this. <laughs> Pucka pelle! Now we're back to the upper pool and uh, we still have like 45 minutes time to fish this pool and we're trying to get one big over 10 kilo fish. I'm gonna start with a silver fly. There's a lot of big fish on this one, sharp hooks. A lot of trust in this. Anders. Sun is going down. Sun is going down behind the trees and we have 35 minutes. Yeah. The, the most important 35 minutes in your All pike fishing life. career. <laughs> we'll start now. Ever. This will decide. It's our time to shine. This will decide if you will be a hero or, or, a, zero. or a zero. Yep. 35 minutes to go for the big fish. It's intense. I have a last uh, spot. I know there's a few. Ah, oh, poisson, poisson, gros poisson, big fish. Oh, décroché! No. Ah! Bad luck. Really bad luck. That's a massive one. Massive. Good? No. Uh, hurry. Yep. Fucking hurry. No. Uh. No. Here, a fish, fat one, but we release her, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, whatever, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, Marcus. No, we will not have five pike. We need one. Yeah. Better? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, it's okay shapes, but... This is okay fish. This is okay fish. Fifth over meter. <laughs> Boom. Wow. Dude, what a day, man. What a day. This is insane. 
<laughs> this is awesome! It might be the last pike of the competition. Let's see. 101. This is insane. This is crazy. Crazy day. Crazy. Let's put her back. Yeah! <laughs> 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 uh, awesome. Woo. Insane pike fishing. Wow. <laughs> Top wow. five. <laughs> 522 centimeters. Yeah. 117. 102. 101. 101. And 101. That's insane, man. That's insane pike fishing. Yeah. Crazy. Doesn't matter how far this will take us or not, this will be a day to remember. Yeah, this has been epic. Yeah. Epic. Yeah. I'm so happy, especially for you, my friend. Uh, You've been like a, a god. Heck <laughs> <What> the <day. laughs> There is still time for one more. Come on, give us a break. They have a top five of 522 insane centimeters and Hank the freaking tank is responsible for exactly five out of those five fish. And as he said a few seconds ago, there might still be time for one more. Mm. Good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> you should. <laughs> oh, this is oh come on! <laughs> Pike mania. Let's see. Are we changing 101? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Let's see if the, if this is a meter pike number six on this lure today. She's big, man. She's bigger. <laughs> oh, this is so crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> Let's measure her. Yeah. 105. 105? Yes, yeah. 105. <sighs> All right, we have a top six of 117, 105. 102, 102, 101, 101, and 101, and a bunch <laughs> just below meter. Yeah, then this 97, 96, yeah, 95. Yeah. Yeah, this is insane. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the mental breakdown. Oh, Are you okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll just let her go while he gets his. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She went in. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy fishing. <laughs> ah, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, we have a couple of minutes more. <laughs> Let's go. You want more? <laughs> yeah, I want more. Okay. I want more. <laughs> oh, this is so. Ah, this is crazy. Last 15 minutes, my friend. Yeah. Have you stopped laughing now? Yeah. It's been an awesome day. <laughs> It's been an awesome day. Wow. I remember this day. Oh, yeah. The day I met the fish. <laughs> Stop it, man. So, oh. There is no eye in a the team. <laughs> There's no eye in the team, yeah. <laughs> ah, crazy times. Crazy. Oh, fish on! Yeah. Oh, Marcus, maybe it's approved at least. In the last 
last minutes of the day. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Oh. Good job, man. Nice. With less than 15 minutes left, it seems like the bite is starting to pick up for headbanger lures. Third fish of the day, and it's a beautiful 82 centimeter pike. I can imagine that feels good after an extremely slow day. Fish, yeah. Oh, no. Nice. Is it the net fish? Or no, should it's I? Not, no, it's not big. Yeah, it's in. <laughs> Nice job, Marcus. Great. In the last minute. Exactly. <laughs> nice man. Just pop it out. 78 centimeters? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Uh, it seems like we're having a quite bite biting period now in the last couple of minutes of the day. But uh, it's still a couple of minutes left. So come on, Emmanuel. Let's, let's do this. Yeah. I mean, this is the place where they usually stand. You know? This is cold water also. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's like I mean, four degrees only. Yeah, yeah, but they usually stand it like all all the time because this is where the food is. No, but Down usually fish they goes to the calm water during when it's cold yeah, water. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but I mean it's calm water here. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Fish. fish. Oh, it's a big one actually. Marcus. A big bike. Yeah, I think it's a big bike. Or is it salmon? It is. It is pretty nice. So now we get the answer of the question you had, Marcus. Yeah, it's a nice one, it's meter fish. Yeah. So Marcus just asked me, are they actually standing under this fast water that was that cold? Yes, they are. <laughs> nice, fat one. Yeah, it is. Good fish. I don't think it's heavier than 8.5. No, but let's measure it. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's unhooked now. Oh, it's actually really heavy. Actually, we might weigh that. Yeah. I have it here. Yeah, 98. Just check it. Yeah, 98. Yeah, so it's not big in the other one. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice fish. Heavy fish. Oh, it's maybe six, seven, seven kilo, maybe. Yeah, it's maybe really something heavy. as well. Nice. Let's uh, let release it and see if we can yeah, get this uh, big one. Uh, okay. Yeah. But it was cool. It was standing in that fast moving water. Yeah. Okay. With a man. Let's do it! Three more! <laughs> <laughs> In ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, it's a nice one. Are you ready, Sylvain? Yeah, I'm ready. It's still deep. Yeah, I know. I would have tried to turn before. Go! The front, the front, the front. Go. Straight away, go at the front. Go at the... I'm ready. That's the meter one we need. T'es prêt? Oh, ouais, ouais, je suis prêt. Allez. Ooh. Cool. Yeah. Not a meter, but oh, good fish. Close. I think that will maybe an improvement. What a strong fight! Yes. Crazy. They are incredible fighters. Okay. 101. Woo. It's an improvement. Second meter pike of the day for Fox Red Salmo, and it's really nice and chunky. The big ones are going absolutely mental right now, but we're running out of time, and there's only two minutes left of the tournament. Fish on! Fish on! Guys! Nice. It's really small though. No net? You never know. Oh, wait. No, yeah, maybe get the net. This one could be approved. But do it quick. I'm not sure though. Where are you? Yeah. Coming up. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I got yep. it. Nice. It's approved. Right? It's approved. <laughs> <laughs> a full card. Yeah. Uh, what more can you ask on a day like this? <laughs> oh, awesome. Nice. Finally. I was bumping the bottom first and then it's a good strike. Cool. Okay, let's measure this one and see how long it is. Yeah, it's one? Yeah, Okay, so, yeah, the last fish, <laughs> filling the paper, 81 centimeter, no monster in any sense, but man, I'm happy. Yeah, it was a good ending. Yeah, especially after tough days like <laughs> yeah. this. Okay, let's get this one back and head home. <laughs> Have some warm drinks, maybe. Yeah. Bye-bye.
<laughs> okay guys, that's, yeah, it. that's it. That's all we had to offer <laughs> yeah. this year. Hopefully we can do it better in the future. Yeah, we had some really tough conditions. Yeah. And we yeah. did this ending. I'm so happy for yeah. it. Yeah. And I hope the other teams had fantastic fishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big congrats to the winner for yeah. this year. Let's and head home. <laughs> okay, last cast. Fly versus shirt 13. Make it count. <laughs> I have a special spot over there. Uh, one more, one more. <laughs> one more. One more. 5.30, yeah? Yeah. But sånt här fisk, jag är lite så vemodig. Ja. 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 Decent one at least. It's safe bike fishing. Ah, oh, this is crazy. <laughs> In this weather. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a 90 something. Well, I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. And this is this is this is once in a lifetime fishing that I'm experiencing right now. Sharing it with a lot of you. I wouldn't call this sharing. <laughs> this is grabbing, taking, stealing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Czech way of doing things. Yeah. <laughs> mine, mine, it's all mine. <laughs> mine, I tell you. <laughs> oh my. We have. 92 you know this is a, this is a dream pike it's a beautiful fish fat healthy and it's like like 10th biggest today this is this is crazy this is crazy i'm never gonna forget this day <sighs> wow look at that look at that that's it friend brother Partner. thank you thank you Best fishing day of my life, by far. Well, that's all was all for us. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy day. <laughs> what to Crazy. say, what to say. What can uh, you say? This bad boy is gonna get framed. You can come and see it at jigard.nu tackle shop, south of Stockholm. Over, my friend. It's game over. We fight hard. No, oh, of course. We always do. We caught a decent fish today. I yeah, it's super fish. It's lovely fish. 11. When you're even, it's super fish. So, uh, but that's not enough. No, not enough. And uh, the other guys uh, have done it really good, yeah, I think. And, and I'm uh, sure some really big fish have been caught today. So yeah. uh, we don't know who's the winner, but uh, you will know in now. And uh, big congrats for them because uh, it was tough competition and some guys fish really, really good. So big congrats for all of them and uh, see you next time. Thank see you, you guys. Bye bye. bye. Yesterday was maybe a, a memory that will follow me until the very last breath. Okay, man, <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Thank you all for watching us and Team Diva and cheering for us. Uh, this was our final cast of Fly vs. Jerk 13. It's over. Thank you for watching us. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, and all you fellow pike anglers from all around the world, Fly vs. Jerk 13 has come to an end, and holy merd, what an insane season this has been. Big fish have been caught and lost. Records have been broken, legends have been crowned, and now it's time to have a look at the final scoreboard. The number point of the final day was secured by Jigga.nu who had a mind-blowing day and caught 36 pike where the great majority of them were bigger than 80 centimeters and 6 of them passed the 1 meter mark. They were close to bagging the big fish point as well with their 9.1 kilo crocodile, but it was one tiny roach away from beating the 9.28 kilo pike caught by Team Diva. Christian and Anders fought extremely hard and did everything in their power to fill up the board, but this time the luck wasn't on their side. Instead, the top 5 point of course goes to Jigga.nu with their crazy result of 526 centimeters, which is the third highest score in the history of this format. This season, every team is a winner in some way, but the real champions of Fly vs. Jerk 13 with 4 points on the board are Team Jigga.nu with Jacob Hank and Björn Boström. 
they have fished extremely well in all the three seasons since they entered the format back in Fly vs. Yerk 10, and now they can add a prestigious Fly vs. Yerk victory to their already incredible records. Huge congratulations and very well deserved, Jacob and Bjorn. It's been a pleasure. Thank you all for watching this season of Fly vs. Yerk. Our goal is to make more people discover the beauty of our sport and give it the status and attention it truly deserves. Cause honestly, it's just freaking awesome. Feel free to subscribe to our channel if you like what we do, and we'll soon be back with more. My name is Mille Pettersson, and you have been watching Fly vs. Yerk 13. Oh, que jävla dag! Fy fan alltså. Man blir så tom. Vad fan hände det? Man blir tom. This has been such a blast. Uh, we sit out today uh, and we said, well, okay, main thing, let's have fun. We'll have fun, we'll catch pikes, hopefully big pikes, we go for top five. Um, and look at us now. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Um, I have never experienced pike fishing like this. Uh, the question is if I ever will. Um, and we had the, the opportunity to have it on camera and show you all guys. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we sure have held it. Yeah. We'll, we'll see you some other time. <laughs> yeah. In epic pike fishing battles. Next time is your time to net. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it with, a, with a smile on my face. Yeah. Lights out guys. That's it. I had one pike, one bite, it was on this lure. That's it. And this fly versus jerk. I think Jigar has a good chance to win uh, this year. And if they do, congratulations. Great work. Well, uh, thanks everyone, thanks everyone who's watching. Then we will thanks be, everyone who's we will, following us We'll be back. See you, see you next time. All right. Uh, this is it. This is the end. And, end of uh, that fly versus Jigar yeah. was really cool, it to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a, a super last day, having a lot of fun. LC fish, many we bikes. Have really hard on the three to days. be honest, yeah, to yeah. me that that was a really yeah, cool yeah. experience. Yeah. Even the river was quite difficult, but at the end was was cool as well. I enjoyed yeah. a lot. Now I hope uh, you you have enjoyed it as well, being with yes, us about. And it. Um, well, I'll be back in Ireland to the ginger country because that was Are that you was cool. Will be welcome? Maybe not with you, but I know some other guides who are quite good. <laughs> See you next time, guys. See you next yeah. time. Thanks. Bye. All right. Uh, thank you for us, Team Excel Marine Mercury. Thanks to all the followers um, and big congratulations to the team who wins the Flyvers Church 13. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Pasi. Thank you. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs>